So, repair that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. And welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. Zombies are all set at Nightmare Speed. This entire map is generated by Nitrogen, and it is all Wasteland, except for a very small green biome, green forest biome, somewhere on the map, which we are looking for, but we have not been able to discover, and I have no idea where it is. All right, so um, we spent an uneventful night uh, in the loft of the barn here. And I didn't do a whole lot. There wasn't really a whole lot I could do. And um, so we are... Uh, I just got out here on the on the rooftop to kind of look around as soon as morning struck. And there is indeed a town here. So I'm just trying to think what I want to do about that. In other words, do we want to stay in this town for a little while and loot and get better geared and better uh, equipped before we go on? Or do we just want to go on? Um, that's kind of the question, really. Um, and I'm asking that, you know, rhetorically, because I'm asking myself if that's what I want to do. But um, I can't ask you guys, because I record my episodes way in advance of you seeing them, so I'm I'm probably two weeks ahead of you guys at, at the time that I'm recording this. So, you know, by the time you guys see this, it'll be... <laughs> <laughs> It'll be two weeks later, so I can't ask you your opinion. But anyway, um, I think what I'm going to do is let's go into the town and let's just kind of scope it out a little bit. And then I'll, I'll see if I'll see how I'm feeling about it, you know, after after we do that. OK, and then we'll go from there. All right. So let's go ahead and head on out. We do have some Zeekers down below, but all of the nighttime, scary nighttime ferals should have buggered off. There's one of those. um those big uh, crevasses, too, the big gnarly cracks that uh, this map generates. That's the first time we've come across one of those. So that's pretty interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we need to get uh, off of here. There's more, looks like blueberries and yucca and corn here. So, yeah, I mean, when the time comes for us to start a farm, I, I think actually we'll probably won't have as much trouble finding seed as I had originally thought. Well, you know, with those farm, you know, with those farms and stuff here, or with these farms and stuff here, is what I'm trying to say. But um, I don't think there's anything down in here that we need to get. But let's just check. Uh, let's just double check, and make sure. I do. This is where my uh, bedroll is. Okay, so we'll spawn back here. I've got uh, a, an extra cooking pot, and I'm I'm gonna go ahead and leave this egg in here because I did make. I made three bacon and eggs last night and another boiled meat. I think we'll leave the egg in here for now. Oh, yeah, shit, we really shouldn't do that. We should take it with us because we're gonna, you know, we're gonna hit a bird's nest soon and we're gonna find it. So, um, yeah. So I think we're finished here. There's nothing. I left a couple of things in here that we don't absolutely need to take with us. I mined up, or mined. I dug up all the cement and the cobblestone just for something to do last night. There wasn't a whole lot, but you know, we did that. So, all right, let's go. Let's go back up this way, I guess. I'd rather not... I was, I, was, I was just about to say I'd rather not alert the Zeekers in the barn to our presence. But uh, that, that didn't work out too well, did it? <laughs> Alright, we gotta get out of here pretty quickly because it won't take them long. Haha, <laughs> sucker! Okay. Oh! What the hell's going on? Who's... You son of a... Okay, are we alright? Any buzzards? We got an easy coming after us, but we're not too worried about him. Phew! Okay. Off to a fun start here. Oh, we got a snake. Okay, I like the snake. I like the idea of the snake. Whoa, Nurse Nancy's coming! Shit. Okay, Nurse Nancy de aggroed on us. And so did that guy. Alright, let's just... I gotta watch where the hell we're going, man. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't. Suck it, buzzard. Oh, shit! Here comes Nurse Nancy! <laughs> run, 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 run.
Okay. All right, so they left off harassing us. Oh, I would have liked to have harvested that snake, but uh, things were a little too hot for that to happen, unfortunately. So let's um, let's get this on our toolbar. And we might as well kill some of these guys now that we're a little more protected up on our little block thingy here. All right, come here, you bastard. Hold still. Squirrely mofo. There we go. Okay. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Come on, little mama. There we go. Is Easy still chasing us? That's funny. What the hell? There we go. Okay, here comes Easy. Businessman's nearby too. I don't think we can reach him with our sledge, can we? No. So we're gonna we're gonna need uh, uh, we're gonna need our spear. Ready to break our block. Come on, dude, just die. What in the hell? Seven hundred fifty-four. Yeah, that was a fairly easy. <laughs> I'm starting to think he probably was because he was taking forever to kill. Damn. Okay. Um, let's kill businessman too. Get him out of the way. Come on, buddy. Let's party. Oh, that was an accident. Where are you going, man? Okay, are we clear? Ish? No, let's get, uh, let's get Mar, no, that's Nurse Nancy. Let's get her too, because I'd like to actually like to go back over there and see if we can find that snake. We're gonna need, um, we're gonna need, uh, some more bolts too, which means we need to start hitting more bird's nests than we have been. Okay, give me your head. Oh, she certainly gave me her head there. <laughs> Had to be careful how I said that. Uh, all right, that's PG-13 channel. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's proceed. So, repair that. Oh no, 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 no! Oh shit! Ah, I can't run. <laughs> Uh, you know what I should have done? There's no way, you guys. There's absolutely no way I could have kept that upper block repaired with that many zombies. I mean, I... I, I could have gotten the AK out and sprayed and prayed, but it would have used up all of our bullets. That was just rotten luck. I mean, <laughs> we, we, we tend to have a lot of that in this playthrough. Oh, my God. That was rotten, rotten luck. Nothing I could do about it. Even if, even if I could have killed all those guys, 
we would have we would have lost almost all of our ammo. Um, and that's a big if, you know. Bastards, that's a big if. <sighs> okay. Well, did they did they despawn? Can we jump down? Yeah, that's kind of a long drop there, isn't it? Okay, let's just see if we can go back down the way we came without alerting the new sleepers, which have inevitably repopulated in here. That's an easy. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. We've got... We definitely have zombies over there. I don't know if it's a remnant of the horde. We can't stay here because Easy's coming. I have no way to kill him. We need to find some rocks so we can distract. She's really close, too. Yeah, go the other way, please, lady. Move along. Nothing to see here. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. I mean... I guess that, you know... There was nothing I could do. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. There was nothing I could do. And then, you know, I jumped off to run away and I was actually crouched so I couldn't actually run. <laughs> It's like, I mean, it didn't matter though. There's no way I would have gotten away from those guys. It just wasn't going to happen. Uh, gotta love playing on these settings, man. Okay. So let's just collect a few more stones here. And then we'll very quietly. Oh, shit, there's a bear there. Yeah, see, there's a bunch of zombies moving t over towards where we were. Little, a little pond for water. There you go. You guys just keep on doing that. Shit, that bear. The bear doesn't know we're here, does he? He looks like he might be even a little bit stuck down in there. That's kind of deep. This almost reminds me of the old caves that we used to have in Alpha, Alpha 16 and 17. Is it? Is it an underwater cave? Seriously? I don't know. Um, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, that wasn't worth going after. No, that's not a cave. That's just a little dippity do in the ground there. Hmm. So an underwater bird's nest there too. Okay, we gotta move that direction. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was brutal. Damn game sending that running horde after us at that moment. But sometimes it happens, you know. The way that works is, you know, the game will spawn in the random horde. I'm not sure if it does it at a at the same time or if it's kind of if that part of it's random too, but they basically spawn in the horde and they point them in your general direction and then the horde starts running. And if you you know, if you don't move from the time they spawn in till the time they get to you. That doesn't necessarily mean they're right on top of you, because I, I still think there's some... Oh, shit. I don't need a snake right now. You know, there's some... You son of a... Randomness to it, too, but, you know, they are definitely stay nearby you. And then sometimes, you know, they do come right for you. In that, like in that case, I mean, they were 
damn near made a beeline straight for me that time. Uh, come on, snake. I don't have time for this shit. At least let me get my stuff and then I'll kill you. Alright, so it looks like the... Uh, the Wandering Horde itself has dispersed. Okay. Thank you for that uh, meat delivery there, Mr. Snake. Always appreciate it. You do sometimes show up at uh, the most inopportune time, though, I have to say. That's two more bacon and eggs right there, baby. Um, let's... We're not keeping bones right now. Don't have room for it. And nor leather. Let's turn these into bolts, because we're kind of low on bolts. Uh, what do I want? I want the pistol. You know, I should... I, I should probably start using the land claim block because if we would have had a land claim block down there that's a, that's 7000 hit points we might have survived that but here again I still would have blown almost all my ammo in the process and that's something I don't want to do okay should we poke our head in this garage can we do that without making a bunch of noise There's a food crate. Here, let's open. Let's open this and see if it alerts anybody. That we're not passing up. We'll leave the rest of it. Hey, are we all loaded, by the way? Always got to check that, man. This game, it's so easy for you to inadvertently unload your weapon and not know it until it's too late. I've been nailed by that more than once. Nah, I'm not taking that. Taking that. It's taking us a long time to get into the town, isn't it? That's a nice find. Holy crap. Really nice find. Okay. We're not really in that bad of shape, though, stamina wise. And we have still have a can of, of salmon too. Zombie. Cheerleader. <laughs> Come on, lady. can't reach her for a power attack, so we just have to do normals. Take her out at the knee. There we go. Boom. Boy, now all those other damn zombies are coming over this way. Come on, guys. Give me a break. Come on over, little mama. 
There you go. Give me my crossbow bolt back. If you could kindly lay your head down on this block, like the cheerleader did, we would appreciate it. Well, that works too. Alright, is Baldy still out there? He is, but he is moving the other direction. Alright, um... I mean, I guess we could try and loot this house. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not recognizing it, but... Since we're here, you know? No, nah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's just... Let's keep moving here. Um, repair. I want to get a good look at this town. And then make a decision by the end of this episode as to whether or not we're going to stick around for a while. We, if we do stay here, then we can always come back here too, you know, of course. Alright. So we killed the snake, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah. I think I have done this house before. In fact, I'm positive I have. I just don't remember it. Remember where the fat loots and all that sort of thing are. Um. Okay, so. There's no reason for us not to be doing this. There just isn't. So let's start using land claim blocks. The, the only downside to doing that is... Is there a one-time use, right? Because as soon as I lay another land claim block down, then the original one breaks. But what we could do, if we do decide to stay in this town for a while, is we could kind of put like a central platform up somewhere and use that to, uh, you know, kind of run to when we need to. Good job, zombie. Look at those two hubcaps right there in a row. Dangerous. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, old guy Robinson. I've caught, like, the first, I don't know, three or four episodes of the new Lost in Space on Netflix. Not really sure, uh... Not really sure how much I like it, to be honest with you. It's... Different. You know what I do like, and I think I've mentioned this to you guys before, is I really like uh, The Expanse. That's a good show. Good sci-fi show. Alright, well this is our first town, guys. Our very first town that we have come across. The other downside to using one of those is it takes up two things on your on your slot uh all right let's keep that put away and we'll keep the stones on our toolbar because i'd rather avoid for now so let's just kind of scope out the town and see what we have to work with that's an interesting poi there all right, so we've got this construction site over here, which has a bunch of cement and cobble in it. If we stick around... Oh, you know what else that has? That's got a workbench. Let's go see if that workbench either works or if it's got a schematic in it. Because if we could actually get access to a workbench, that means we could fairly quickly make ourselves a bicycle or even better, a mini bike. See, the problem with the bicycle in the wasteland is the vultures can easily catch you. In fact, they can damn near almost catch you on a mini bike too. But still, I mean, having it, having a bicycle would be better than not having one. We just have to deal with vultures all the time is all, but we could potentially do that. Sometimes a Zeker 
we'll try and come up that way. So let's just make sure that doesn't happen. We could, uh, if I could get away with harvesting that stone without making noise, I would like to do that because there's a lot of stone right there. Really, really easy to get to stone. Okay, so this doesn't work. Does it have a schematic? Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's got a freaking chainsaw in it. That's the second second chainsaw that we found. Does this work or does it have a schematic? <laughs> no, but it does have some concrete mix. Not enough to really make that much of a difference, though. Okay. I'm not going to use the auger because that's definitely going to get attention. But let's see if we can sort of kind of quietly harvest this stone. And you know what else we're going to do? Uh, we're going to do it here. And if we aggro something, we're going to quickly switch to our land claim block to get up on the platform. <clears throat> Okay, let's try this. So we got 50 stone from that one pallet. That's not bad. Okay, so far so good. Okay, that gets us up to 537 stone. That's a nice little little pile of stone there. All right, let's um, let's get rid of this guy. Or on second thought, that isn't going to happen, is it? He detected us. I need to get this down here. What'd you drop, buddy? Ooh, okay. I'll eat that right now. Cornmeal. Not going to take that right now. Okay, um, we left that in there, right? Okay. Anybody else in the immediate vicinity? Don't think so. All right, let's make another one of these. But we just have to remember that this one will not be usable once we set a new one down. Just the nature of the beast. Snake. Come on over, dude. Let's uh let's try and spear the snake. He's a sidewinder. Check him out. <laughs> oh, that worked way better than the sledge. Yeah. Okay, that's how we're killing those things from now on. Okay. Sweet. 20 pieces of meat. Look at that. Oh, padded hood. Um, this is way inferior to what we're having, at least in terms of the armor itself. And that's going to give us uh, cloth, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's keep moving. Keep moving and keep observing. We have some kind of store up ahead, 
could be a shoddy messiah. This yellow house P.I. We got a crypt. It looks like there's a football stadium uh, over yonder there. Alright, this is a shamway. That's not terrible. Oh, there's a working stiffs. That's useful. Go further. Okay. Working stiff. Ste oh, shit. I don't want to run into the biker. That's a nice find there. There's a prison. There's another store off that way. Could be a poppin' pills. Could be a crack -a book. Yeah, that is a football stadium. <laughs> There's some water right there. Uh, here's what I'm thinking, you guys. At the very least, we need to hit the stores here. The working stiff and whatever this is for sure, and maybe even the chamois. Because, you know, we could get, um, where is that dog at? Oh, he's right there. Okay. We could get some, um, you know, we could get a whole bunch of, like, can sham, which is good food. Okay, there's a, a poopy pants up there. There's going to be more bookcases in there to check. And we got our next airdrop. Can't even see where the hell it went. Let's get beyond the edge of the prison and see if we can spot where that drop's coming down. It's probably on the other side of the poopy. Be my guess. Go the other way, man. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. So that is a long, long ways away. We totally overestimated the last one, though. So let's go maybe here-ish. And we're going to call this this one drop two since we already found the other drop two. Okay, I want to see what this other store is and then we need to wrap up this episode. bus station there. Kind of cool. Uh, this is either a crack book or a poppin' pills. Oh! Yeah, I think... Well, I don't know. Is it a poppin' pills? I think it's a poppin' pills. That's good. That's very good, because we could find um, some vitamins and bandages. And antibiotics. We have two honey, though, for that. Okay. Is that another store over there? This is definitely a sizable town, that's for sure. O'Reilly Auto is going to have a workbench in it. So another chance at either a working workbench or a schematic. Yeah, this is a popping pills. Okay. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Uh, let me pause the game here.
we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna stay in this town, like I said, at least long enough to loot these these three stores. Uh, actually, four stores now, right? We found we found a Shamway, we found a tool store, we found a Poppin' Pills, and we found. I guess it's those three, yeah. Um, and probably we might even try and go into the auto parts store, uh, too, because I'm pretty sure there's a workbench in there. And if, you know, if we can if we can come across a workbench, um, or even you know maybe just learn the perk for it and get you know some kind of a, a vehicle, preferably a mini bike, uh, but even a bicycle, you know, it's better than nothing, right? That might be who, you know, it might behoove us to do that before we, we move on and continue journeying. But it's not my intention at this point to stay in this town for a really long time and, you know, and do like an actual ba real, you know, permanent base here. We'll, we're going to set up a temporary base, uh, kind of like we did at the other place. And then let's just kind of see how things go, okay? All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.